to show the people what a Polaris Razor can do. I see where these things are going. You know, I want to do something cool. I've dreamt up this idea for years and years. I grew up with a motocross background and now, you know, driving Razors and racing off-road trucks. I see the evolution and the adaptation to it and for Razor to jump on this project is awesome. A lot of moving parts, the last couple weeks, phone calls, dirt moving, last minute. Doesn't matter what you're doing, it seems like you're not ready until you strap in the car and start the thing up. Welcome to Texas, everybody. Uh, we're gonna be here for the next three days filming. The starting on the straight rhythm, working through a couple moto tracks, some tree sections. We got our camera car crew here. They're gonna be driving a Razor as well. RJ's gonna be driving this car behind us. We got our medic over here, Scott. He's gonna be in charge of safety. If anything happens, everybody listens to him. Thanks for the hustle, guys. It's a lot putting this all together, so stoked. I think the only thing for me is I'm Randall, and I'm driving. I can keep doing that dragon's back like that though. It's real squirrely. Oh no, man. I wonder if I should have you roll some of that off at first. If it bucks and it scoops the nose into there and I rip the front end off it, that's gonna suck. Only one way to find out. The relationship Rich and I have is kind of funny. I tell him he's wrong and I wanna change it and then he comes right back and tells me I'm wrong and he's not gonna change it. We just build like 50 foot gaps, but we build these tall 50 foot gap. 50 foot gap's big for in here. No, I'm talking about the bigger jumps through the oh, trees. Yeah, you ain't putting no 50 footer here. No. We could do it out of this, like a big fat lip like here. I don't want fat lips. Rolling rhythms. Big booters. I'm not that good, dude. He knows what he's doing. He's built stuff like this way more than I've driven stuff like this. But at the same time, I've got thousands of hours in a side-by-side. -side. So far, I think Rich has been right three or four times and I've been right one time. So he's definitely winning the battle, but um, we're kind of finding an even ground here. Yeah, that ain't bad. I wish you would have rolled it in a little bit more just so it wasn't- It was, and then I fucking steep into rough. <laughs> When I come up with a video idea, I want it to be fun. I want someone that watches it to be like, I want to go do that. When we were doing this project, we collectively all knew that like, we're not coming out here without the Cine Razor. You know, it's an asset that this project needs. We decided to start the first day with the widest lens that we have here because we're really close in proximity. If you're flying right up and crisscrossing with the car, you feel like you're there. Dude, the shot looks so good. Sorry, Brian. <laughs> oh no, it's just me every time. Did I just smoke you when I went by? No, you just drove in front of my shot as he was driving through my shot. Next time we'll give you a clean song. Sure, I'm just gonna dig holes. All right. Brian knows how to drive it, right? Nope. Been a minute. Why aren't you starting? It doesn't work. Oh. <laughs> We're trying to do three people's job at once, basically. Um, we're gonna put some dirt in this thing, we're gonna leave it so then they can come grab it. We don't interrupt what they're doing. Let's, uh, let's fill it full of dirt. For a project like this to come together, there's countless hours, phone calls, deals that need to be made to make it all happen. Max from Trophy Tractor is one of those guys that I called him up, like, hey man, we're doing this project in Texas. What's the chance you can help us out with some equipment? And they're like, you know what? We'd love to be a part of it. It's 
To me, as an athlete and a driver, progression is the name of the game. I've driven my Razor across the world in every type of condition there is, and this project to me was my dream conditions, my dream line, all in one place. Over the last five years, I've been dreaming up this project and, and kind of putting the pieces together. And it takes everyone to make something like this turn out well. And through the last 12 years of my off-road racing career, I've been growing as a driver and as a team and as a brand, and so has the Razor brand at exponential rates. And having my back means a lot to me. For a company like that to believe in what I'm doing as an individual and a driver means a lot. And we appreciate it. Couldn't do it without you guys. People that probably see us working together on this project are like, wait, you two are <laughs> the two that you cut in a mullet at an after party in Cranon is the lead producer on your guys' main crazy gnarly razor video? Like, yeah, that's the guy.